World AIDS Day begins December 1st, but Rhode Island kicked off its recognition of the global event early with its seventh annual Red Ribbon Rally. And this year, organizers say there is both good and bad news to report in the fight against this epidemic. ABC6 reporter Josie Guarino joins us live in the newsroom tonight with the details for us. Josie. April, overall, the State Department of Health reports there are fewer newly diagnosed cases of HIV AIDS in 2005 than in the last five years, 30 percent lower than last year. But the numbers are shifting to show fewer adults and far too many kids with a deadly disease. It just crushed me, you know. Tony Rodriguez learned about AIDS when he was just seven. I actually lost an uncle from it. And as an adult, it still haunts him. I have a couple of friends who are infected. Rather than let the deadly disease paralyze him, Rodriguez is doing something to fight back. He joined the state's HIV prevention task force. I know my voice can help make a difference. And organizers say his voice is needed now more than ever. 13% of the newly diagnosed cases are youth. Kids between 13 and 24 years old infected with HIV AIDS. And I don't really think that it's a lack of education. I think that the, a lot of times they're getting the education in different places, but it's putting the education to use. Um, I think that some youth think that they're invincible. I think we have more youth who are involved in IV drug use. Why did you find it so hard to admit? Morris Lewis slams a poem he wrote for this young crowd at the Red Ribbon Rally at Met High School. The AIDS quilt project of Rhode Island serves as a backdrop, a constant reminder of the epidemic of AIDS. That's because like a lot of kids aren't aware of the things that are going on, which makes them easy victims. Morris hopes to reach high school students about HIV prevention through art. Rodriguez uses personal stories. The biggest challenge is actually trying to attract them more than tell them about it. And when he does have their attention, he drives home this message. The matter is, is it affects everyone. It doesn't matter how old you are, what race, color, you know, age, gender, it doesn't matter. We are all affected by it. Take it from someone who knows. Rodriguez's uncle died of AIDS after his girlfriend infected him. Now this crusader relies on good memories of his uncle for strength. I remember the times when me and him, we make tuna melts with mustard and, and how he used to call me his squirrel. There have been 2,700 AIDS cases in Rhode Island since the first one reported in 1982. Live in the newsroom, Josie Guarino, ABC 6 News.